Hello everybody and welcome to GP Notebook TV. My name is Dr Julie Oliver. I'm a GP working up in County Durham and we are locked down at the moment so um, good opportunity for me to do a bit of reading. And the MHRA have come out with some guidance on the use of fentanyl patches. So I thought I'd share them with you because this is going to be a really short video. But the first thing to know about fentanyl patches is that they are extremely toxic. And even if you pick the weakest one off your picking lists when you're prescribing, so that would be the 12 micrograms an hour patch, you are still giving somebody the equivalent of between 30 to 45 milligrams of morphine over 24 hours. So for an opiate naive patient who has never ever been on any sort of opiates at all, opiate naive, that's what it means, then do not start them off on opiate patches. So the MHRA have been looking at some of the yellow cards that have been reported and respiratory depression, not surprisingly, has been reported on numerous occasions. And obviously respiratory depression can lead to respiratory arrest and death. So it's a serious, serious problem. So for your opiate naive patients, do not start them on fentanyl patches. So that's the first take home message. Um, the next thing to be wary of with fentanyl patches is when we're looking at our non-cancer patients, you know, are we going to do more harm than good by starting opiates? So when you're thinking about whether you should be instigating opiates in patients that are maybe already exposed to um, weaker opiates, but uh, for non-cancerous conditions, think long and hard about the risks and benefits because again once you start escalating up to these stronger painkillers there is some evidence that too fast escalation up can also cause respiratory depression and arrest and also you have to question the value of these medications because you know that the more opiates you give the more tolerant uh, you get to these so the higher dose you need to get some benefits and without taking that drug you will get withdrawal side effects i.e addiction so question all the time challenge and question are you doing more harm than good in stepping up the pain ladder for our non-cancerous pain patients okay if you have problems with this, um, there are, are a couple of websites that are brilliant as learning tools. There's the Living Well With Pain, which is a clinician sort of website, which has got all the information you might need to do to support you in that decision-making process. But there's the patient website called My Live Well With Pain, and there'll be links below so you can click on them. And that's for the patients to look at. And I know in this day and age, our pain clinics are swamped. We're all busy because of this um, COVID pandemic. But having some information to signpost patients to as to why opiates maybe aren't the best way to, aren't the best way to go to manage them and why not um, are a great resource. So have a look at these for your learning if you need some more sort of confidence about challenging the use of opiates. Now, if you are going to look at opiate use, um, make sure that you are giving the correct doses. And there's a great website, again, link below to the um, Faculty of Pain Management, and they will be able to, sh there's charts on there which will be able to uh, link you up with what dose you're using of your current opiate and what would be the equivalent if you were to switch them onto fentanyl. So you are not giving an accidental overdose by giving too high a dose. And remember, fentanyl patches need to be changed every three days. They need to go onto dry, non-hairy skin, don't touch the um, adhesive side because you will absorb some of that through your skin. So wash your hands. So that's for carers. Wash the hands if they're using them. Don't put two patches on if the prescription is only for one. So one patch at a time. Don't cut the patches up. So follow the instructions you're given. And remember, if your skin gets very hot, you can increase the absorption. So hot baths and shower can accidentally result in increased absorption and overdose. So remember... Fentanyl patches are not for our opiate naive patients and ask the question all the time, are you doing more harm than good by escalating up opiate dosing? So share this with your prescribers at the surgery. Put this in your PDP, a really important learning point, and go and look at those Living Well With Pain, uh, or Live Well With Pain, should I say, uh, websites, or my Live With Well With Pain, which are really good websites on pain management. Take care, everybody. More learning and videos to follow. Take care.